Hello there. Today's show is all about tuning. Tuna fish? No, no, no. Tune in. Tunics? You still haven't heard me right, mate. I'm talking about tuning drums. Trying to make them sound good, you know, bringing out the tones from underneath. You gotta make them sound brisk and big and round. Like a nice girthy meal. That's what we're talking about today, so stick around if you want to hear more about it. Actually, the truth is I'm not really a professional at it, so if you want to actually learn how to do this properly, I don't recommend watching this video. So, alright, bye! Just kidding, I'm actually going to do the real video, so let's go and do it. I'll turn on my super speed mode while I'm taking the skins off so that you don't have to watch me. It's a really long, boring process, so let's go super speed. So the question you probably have now is when should I be changing my skins? To which my response would be whenever your drums are fun but they don't have that mmm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So here's an old skin that I've beat the crap out of. Throw it away. And uh, out with the old, in with the noobs. These guys are the skins that I use. The G2 coated on the toms. You can see it right there, G2 coated. G2. I don't know if you can see that, because it might be blurry. But if you can see it, yes, it's G2. Similar to the second stage of driver's licenses you get in Ontario. And uh, same thing on the floor tom, 16 inch, same skin. And on the snare, I use the uh, Genera HD. And you can tell that it's the HD because it has this extra lining on the inside there, makes it a little thicker. And uh, you can also get the HD dry, it has little holes in it that help to keep the sound from coming out of your snare. But I kind of like that because it helps it to cut through, so this is what I use. So when you're putting the head on the snare, generally what I like to do is put it on there, stick this guy around it, and just mash him in there for a sec, you know? Just make sure that he fits nice and tight, nice and snug. So just give him a little... Ugh. Just mash him in there like potatoes. At Thanksgiving. Or Christmas. Mashed. Now you just twist these guys in, make them finger tight. This is going to be boring, so let's go into super speed. And now, you want to give it another good mashing. So just give her another good, another good smush. Smush it in there. And now, you're ready to start tightening with the key. So get out your drum key and uh, start, and you want to work across. So you want to go boop, 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 like that, crossways, and then you slowly tighten the whole thing down. I like to crank mine pretty tight, so I'm just going to start going for it. messing around with it until it sounds good, you know? It might take a little while, but uh, this skin is great. You'll love tuning with it, so give it a shot. And I'm just going to do the other things with the toms. So let's go back into super speed. And there you have it. You just start messing around, make them sound good, tune them up, tune them down, try to get the buzzes out of them and things like that. Right. So there you have it, yeah? You just throw your skins on, you tune them up, and you're good to go. Alright? I also want to give a shout out to my buddy Ryan. Ryan Downis. He, uh, he's the one who turned me on to these Evan skins. I used to use all kinds of other ones and I had lots of trouble with tuning before that. Now that I've used these guys, they're good to go. So check out Ryan's video right here. And uh, I'll see you soon, alright? Happy drumming!